Sidorovich. We got some talking to do. You said there'd be two guys there at night, so I waited till night. And there were probably about 15 people there. And it would have been nice about the, the, to have a heads up about the red barrels. that you're, uh, you feel bad about what's happened. And just don't let it happen again, okay? Good hunting, Good hunting stalker. stalker. Here, so I can get a sink. I'm gonna shoot the tree. Okay. Alright, that should be able to sync my audio up. The video. Alright, so I decided to go ahead and do a part two here. Um, I haven't done anything since the last video. Um, let's see, I forget what we did. Oh, I did that. Okay, I did the mission for Gerodovich. What's that? Um, so now I gotta decide what to do next. Let's open up our map here. Let's go. There's some stashes over here. There's one, two, three, four stashes, five stashes, six stashes. That's a lot of stashes. That's a lot of stashes. So we'll, maybe we'll go uh, look at those. I should probably drop off some guns so I have more weight. So let's run back down here. Actually, I might need to reload. I don't think doors are opening for what me. What have you got here? Yeah, see, these aren't opening. So something's bugged and I can't well, open doors. Good hunting, stalker. Ugh. So let's do a quick, do a quick save. I don't remember what the key is for quick load. So we'll just do this. Boom. I'll go see if we can open doors. If not, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So you're the back. Can't open doors. Alright. Well, uh, something good happened. Hunting, stalker. And I can't open doors anymore. So. Let's see, I'll go back to an older save. Um, uh, the after raid, yes. Try this one. A little bit darker. I don't know what all I've lost. Anything valuable. Told you I could open these doors. Well, All good right. hunting, stalker. Yeah, see ya, dude. Hey, do you got a place I could store some weapons, actually? Hey, bud. Hey. Do you have anything a... valuable? Yeah, you do. Yeah, well, no. I'm just gonna look in this box. Not put anything in it. Alright, I'm gonna store my infield because I am out of ammo pretty much for it. I'll also store the MP5 and it's ammo. Wait, that's my pistol ammo. This is also pistol ammo. These are my MP5 ammo. Okay, let me do this. And... We'll drop off these scopes because they don't go on my guns. So now I got pistol, I got shotgun. The one thing I've noticed about this game is uh, when you're fighting humans, 
usually you want to go with a rifle, but when you're shy, when you're fighting, when you're fighting mutants and animals and beasts, uh, I found that shotguns are the way to go because they they usually will charge you, so you're always going to be up close. Whereas, because I mean, it makes sense because uh, animals and beasts they don't have guns to shoot back at you, so they need to close the distance. So usually, whenever I'm fighting beasts, I switch to a shotgun. Um, at least as of right now, uh, I haven't met a lot of beasts. Uh, I don't know what all the game has to offer. I, I feel like I'm still pretty early on in the game. Um, but anyways, yes, yeah, so I like to carry a rifle and a shotgun. That's what I've been doing so far. And then the pistol is just for like, oh crap, like, or if I'm just trying to conserve ammo for if I was using my infield L85A um, and I'm shooting like a dog, I'll just use a pistol. Um, or I'll swap out for a shotgun, but... But yeah, because shotgun ammo is not too expensive either. And I've been using this buckshot. Um, it's really all I found. But it's good. It's I used to have a, uh, a Saga shotgun, which was really good. It almost was overpowered. Like, the range that you could shoot at people with it, it was really good. And I think you could put a suppressor on it, which I hadn't done. But it was really good, and I actually just sold it solely for the purpose that I wanted to try something different. I wanted to try out all the guns, so I'm gonna try out the Spots 12 next. I have not used it yet, as I've already said. And my pistol, I'm rocking the Beretta, which I found. I don't remember if this was on a guy or I found it in a stash, but it's all right. It's pretty cool. It looks nice and I got a suppressor on it. I don't know why it doesn't show the suppressor here in this screen, but you can see it in the inventory. And I got a couple grenades. Um, I do have a grenade launcher for the AN-94. And I have one grenade for it, and I think there's one loaded into it already. So I have two grenades. A grenade launcher that I can use. I'll probably use it just to try it out. Um, yeah. So I've been trying to decide. Oh, wait, hold on. What Do I need to put anything else in there? I can put these... Hmm, I can put these in there. These are like, uh, I like to carry these animal things I got off animals. Um, which this, these are, I got off of a burger and this is a dog tail. Because, um, sometimes people, I'll ask them if they have, uh, missions and it'll be like, yeah, I need a dog tail. Like, all right, good, I already got a dog tail and I'll just give it to them. And then it's a way to make some money quick. Um, and you make a lot more than just selling the parts. So I've been hanging on to those. Um, I think that should be good. I guess I don't really need these repair kits. I'll put those here too. Because I plan on coming back here before I actually leave this area. I'm just going to go search these stashes and then we'll come back. We don't need cigarettes. I need some food. I need some anti-rad. And I need ammo. I have plenty of ammo. I don't need seven med kits. Let's... Let's take three. Uh, I actually have this army first aid kit. I'll drop that one here. Um, these multivitamins, they give you health and some stamina, but they don't fill your hunger bar, I don't think. Uh, chocolate does, water does a little bit, and sausage obviously does. I think that'll be good for this little mission we're going on. All right, so as I was going to well, say, I'm trying to decide... Hunting, stalker. Who are, see ya, thanks. Uh, see ya, bud. I'm trying to decide what type of videos to make here. Should I be making these for people that know about Stalker, have played Stalker? Um, that was my first thought, but then as I thought about it, it's like... No, I shouldn't because I'm new to Stalker, so i probably just make those people cringe. Because I don't know how to play. I've never played before. Um, like I said, I, I played a long time ago, but I didn't know what I was doing. Um, I was a lot younger, and uh, I just didn't get into it. So I don't really remember anything at all other than that I have played. I don't even know if it was Shadow of Chernobyl that I played. So it's my first playthrough. I've got this mod installed, too. So there's things that it changes. Um, that may keep me from, I feel like, uh, I know that it, it, it affects the stealth because, uh, in other videos I've seen, 
where my mini map is uh, at the bottom left there's like a stealth indicator there with your stamina bar and um, it tells you how visible you are how audible you are uh, and if people see you and that's completely gone in this mod and there's no way to pull it up as far as I can tell so that makes stealthing a little bit harder as is but I've been just kind of going with what I've been given here and I uh, haven't really been stealthing much. Whenever I can stealth though, it makes it more satisfying because uh, I feel like it's a lot harder and I feel like I accomplished something. Um, all right. So anyways, the videos, I feel like I'm just going to just assume that the people watching maybe have never played Stalker uh, or don't know that it exists, don't know anything about it. Maybe they've heard of it. It's a really popular game, but they've actually never played it. And uh, maybe they don't want to jump into an old game by themselves, so they maybe watch me play it. So, so I'm trying to give like little tips that I found while playing. They're like beginner tips from a beginner to beginners. So that that's kind of the tone that I'm gonna set for these videos. And um, so like if you've played Stalker and you're still watching just to laugh at me fail and get scared, then uh, just know that that's kind of who I'm imagining the viewer is is someone who's never played before um so yeah looking at the mini map we got a stash somewhere over right near us i want to read it because it gives you little tips on where to look back up a little bit all right vorpal's secret stash found out from vorpal that there's a secret stash in the cellar our men were carrying out a scouting expedition in the area let's check it out so in the cellar so i need to get down there something there right here a ladder Gotta be under. maybe it's not i'm not exactly on it on the mini map Is there another one Another cellar door. Hmm. No, it's got to be down there. Maybe I see a stash. I see like a anomaly looking thing here. Oh my goodness. All right. Well. Like I said, I'm going to play this like someone that's never played before. Or I'm going to make this video like I'm talking to someone who's never played before. That is called an artifact. Ooh, I've never seen this one either. So artifacts are these things that pop up randomly all throughout the world. What I, the way I've had it explained to me is when you load, start a new game, all of the anomalies and artifacts are predetermined where they're going to be and it doesn't really change. Um, and, uh, you have a thing here that detects, detects anomalies, or, uh, artifacts and anomalies. Uh, there's different types of detectors. This one is the bear. It's the second one that you get in the game. So it's, as they go up, I assume that the range, uh, goes up and that's what makes them better. Um, but when I opened it up, you would have seen before I picked it up, there was a green circle on my mini map. And that kind of tells you where the artifact, the location where it is somewhere in the center of that green circle. Um, it just so happened that I saw that little blur on my screen and I pulled it out just to see. And there was an artifact that I uncovered. You have to have the detector out for it to uncover. But the stash icon on my mini map did not disappear. So there's still a stash somewhere down here which is really weird because usually they're just obvious and i can't break these crates as far as i can tell seems like it's it might be right under there but yeah we got an artifact um i like i said i hadn't seen this one that's just called stone blood it gives me plus 200 percent health but it also gives me minus 10 percent impact rupture and rupture and bulletproof cap um, so I have another one, the meat chunk that gives me 400% health. Uh, oh, and to equip the artifacts, you just put them here on your belt. And then you'll notice that the stats change down here accordingly. 
So um, I don't think I'm going to equip that one. I'm probably just going to sell it because minus 10% impact. You can see here I have plus 50%, 30%, 50, 40, 40. Those are from my suit that I'm wearing, the monolith suit, um, which is a pretty good suit. Um, but I feel like I don't really need more health, I don't think. And the bulletproof cap, I'm not sure what that means. Rupture, I'm not sure what that means. Impact, not sure what that means. Um, but I think uh, they're the different types of damage. So bulletproof cap would be damage I take from bullets. Explosion, obviously from explosions. Chemical burn. Telepathy. Uh, radiation is a big one because you, you can't go to get to certain areas or certain loot um, that has high radiation if you don't have a good radiation resistance. Uh, rupture, really not sure. There's a paw print here. Impact, same thing. I'm not sure what it would be. Uh, unless weapons do different types of damage as well, but it doesn't say anything about that. I just assume those are all bulletproof cap. So, I don't know what cap means. Bulletproof cap. Yeah, I don't know. So... But I do know, like, electricity and chemical, there are different anomalies that put out those types of damage. Telepathy, there's there's enemies, which we'll meet later on, I'm sure. Um, but uh, we'll just... Th that'll just be a surprise. Uh, radiation, I already said. Rupture, don't... I don't really know. I, maybe it's damage from, like, animals. And then impact would be, like damage from animals I, I, don't, I don't know I don't know but anyways those are those are a perfect explanation of artifacts let's try to shoot this with my shotgun nothing scare some birds away I don't know maybe it's not down here I swear it's got to be down here Am I crazy? I thought maybe for a second it was that artifact was down here. Maybe that's what it was, but that didn't really make any sense. I think that's just a bonus. I think there is something down here that I just can't see in these boxes that I can't break. In the cellar. Because right here is actually the center of the circle, which is usually where they're at. So I, is there, is there a cellar out front? There's a cellar. Honestly, I might skip on this one because I I can't find it. Or I could Google it real quick. See if I'm crazy. Sometimes that's what I'll do is I'll, I'll try to find it at first. And then when I can't find it, I'll look at Wikipedia or something to get a picture of it. Is that it? This isn't a... This isn't the cellar. All right, so there's another uh, artifact. This one gives you minus 10 radiation, minus 18 endurance. So endurance, I'm assuming, I'm not taking that energy drink. I'm assuming is that blue bar there on my bottom right below the red bar, which is the red bar is my health. And then that my stamina bar, which is what I call it, is the blue bar. Um, but there may be another, uh, there may be something affecting my stamina bar called endurance but there's no way for me to see what my endurance is, if that's the case, at least with this mod. So, yeah, I don't really know. I mean, it says here I have a green endurance bar, so maybe that, maybe this green, these do change colors. So maybe the endurance will go down until I sleep or, um, cause I can sleep, which I think sleeping, wait, that thing hasn't gone away yet. I can sleep. I think that's something that the Autumn Aurora 2 mod added. So maybe that... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. 
Found out from Vorpal that there's a secret stash in the cellar. Our men were carrying out a scouting expedition in the area. Let's check it out. In the cellar. So I went into the attic. And those stashes, there's usually nothing in them. Like you can, st I could stumble across the stash and usually it'll be empty unless I have already found the PDA that um, gave me the location of that stash. So when you find the PDA, that is when items spawn into the stash. So before that, they'll be empty. So that makes no sense that, um, that I went to the attic there, found a stash, there was stuff in it, and this circle hasn't disappeared. So it could be bugged. What is that noise? What's going on? All right, we'll just give it one more look here, then we're moving on. Sometimes they can be hard to see. I've had one that was very difficult to see and it was right in front of me. Like my flashlight didn't um, make it shine, so it was really hard to see. But yeah, it's probably underneath one of these crates or it was supposed to be the artifact or it was supposed to be the one up in the attic. Regardless, I can't find it. Don't really care. Done spending time on it. Let's go. See, dude. Oh, nice pistol flip. That was sick. Can you do that again? Do that pistol flick again. No, do it again. Do the pistol flick. Dude, he like he did the twirl on his finger. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Yeah, my man. Cool. I'm gonna practice that. I'm doing it. All right, let's go. All right, we want to head. Let's head to this one's here, so it's east. Southeast. Oh, and I need to eat as well. My hunger bar is orange. Alright. Oh. Ooh, there's a uh, military guy that was shooting at those pigs. Boars. Let's stay clear. Make sure I got my not my shotgun out. Hmm. It's an enemy there. I might take this guy out. Since I'm using my cheap ammo. Just because he's kind of in my way. He hasn't seen me though. You know what? We let him live. We let him live. I've killed too many people. It was only supposed to be two. All right, so that beeping means there's an anomaly. I think I see it. So you pull out these bolts here. You can throw these bolts. See, that's an anomaly there. You can kind of see them, but they can be hard to see at times. So I always throw these bolts in front of me to find a path that I can walk. Which is what you're supposed to do, I'm assuming. It's it pretty crazy. So it looks like the stash is going to be over here by these rocks. Looks safe. Where's this anomaly at? Found it. Oh, another HK MPA5. This is that exact same one. Oh, we'll sell it. Comes with some ammo. Somebody just popped up. Oh, is that guy coming back? 
Now would be a bad time, buddy. Give me a second here. Let me get out of here, then we can fight. is what I like to call the stupid. And you don't want to walk into the stupid, because that'd be stupid. What was that? Hello? I swear I just heard a boar. There he is. There's the guy. I'm just, if he doesn't shoot at me, I'm just going to let him live. Let's remember his name. What's his name? Lieutenant Moore. Lieutenant Moore, I am so sorry for what happened. I just needed the briefcase and your guys wouldn't let me kill them. Nothing personal. Alright, let's see where our next stash is. bunch over here. Let's go to this one next. So that's our uh, northeast. This way. I can stand up. Something sounds really bad out in the distance. Hard to hear over the rain. One thing I like, another thing I like to do, uh, pull out the binoculars. Because you notice it kind of highlights enemies, and sometimes the smaller beasts can be harder to see in the grass. Okay, there's a dog. Not super worried about dogs, because I'm pretty sure they're blind. I've heard them called blind dogs over the radio. But they do attack. Usually they'll run off if you kill the, the alpha dog. Sure that he wasn't shooting at me. You're just gonna run right at me? Why? <laughs> so there's a lot of uh, soldiers out. Let's get out of this area. So this, um, this building right over here is a building you go to for your first uh, real mission. You come here, you meet up with some guys around the hill we just ran over. Then you run down here and you got to clear it out. And there's about seven or eight guys down there <clears throat> that you got to take out. Um, but that's not actually, we gotta go past this. But I'm assuming there's probably bandits here. That's a nice little anomaly right there. I don't know what they're shooting. They're all bandits so far. Maybe there's dogs in there. But I'm gonna keep my distance. No sense in fighting them. I, I, they got low tier loot. I'll fight them if they provoke me. I am curious what they're shooting at. Closer we are. Let's read this description. I hit the Habar by the bandits camp under the cross. So there should be a cross over here. I 
I really need to eat. It's turning red. There's the crust. it out. Alright, so we got a jacket. This is like a starter jacket, which makes sense because we're in a starter area. But uh, we'll pick it up because it's worth 3,000 rubles, weighs 3 kilograms. We'll just sell it. So the next one's over here. My map bugged? Okay. When my comrades and I were fighting off the dogs in uniform, I buried some goods under the bridge. Let them stay there for now. So there should be a bridge over there. This is to my north northeast. This way. Be a bridge. Haven't been over this far, actually. Doggy. dogs. But these things like it's an anomaly right in front of me. Thank you, Beeper. I would have walked right into it. Is that a guy? If that's the dog, is he just sitting there looking at me? Just chilling. It's like a fish. I might take it out. It's just gonna run at me. They see you from so far away. I'm surprised he didn't see me yet. If I stand up. Sorry, buddy. I probably wouldn't have shot you, but your friend over there, he just ran right at me earlier for no reason, unprovoked. And so it kind of made me a little bit, you know, Made you got made you and your breed seem a little little sketchy. All right, so he said under the bridge. Stash is under the bridge. Wonder if those are friendly. I think those are other stalkers actually over there. Maybe we can sell them our stuff. Radiation here. Oh, I'm getting radiated. All right. Well, that changes things. I could either try to run through there and heal. Oh, there's a fence down here. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I just saw this. I'm an idiot. Okay. Just gonna let you live. Let bye dogs be bye dogs. More dogs. Yeah, I haven't been over here. Sorry, buddy. Had to walk right where you were sitting. Just run, just run, just run. Just go. No, just go, just go. Just go. Just go, just go. Here, I'll run. Who's that? The loner. Friendly. I'm assuming the cross here, yeah. Didn't I say it was under a bridge? Oh, that's the alpha dog there. Take him out, the other dog should leave me alone, I think. Ooh, some bit so BP rounds they have better armor penetration if they work for my AN94 but you'll see here these are just standard rounds and these are BP rounds which have improved armor piercing but decreased stopping power so they're good against armor not as good against unarmored but they're a lot more expensive too what are these 9 by 18 these go to that MP5. We'll just grab everything. 
this guy, he's a couple guys over there that are friendly. Oh, I thought that dog was going to go right into that anomaly. I'm going to talk to these guys, say what's up. Hey, guys. You guys need help? Hey. Can you tell me something interesting? Something new? To hell with your new. When there's so much old shit that you couldn't scoop it out with a, a ladle. The bandits went mad. The swine. We tread between the anomalies trying to get the artifacts. And they're the ones stealing other people's goods. Acids. Just watch out and don't wander into the garbage. That's exactly their kind of place. We've got meat. I'll sell you this bandit jacket. And probably go ahead and sell you this MP5. I don't, I already have another one and I don't need it. Um, probably go ahead and sell the stone blood. Like I said, I don't, I have, I have the meat chunk already equipped and it does, it does better. So let's sell that. A lot of pistol ammo here. Hmm. Let's sell the standard knife by 18. Keep, hang on to the P rounds, which do armor piercing. Yeah. Oh, it's energy drink. I don't even know what the energy drink's good for. I have not found it solid use for it yet. It's supposed to, maybe that helps with my endurance here, but I have not even noticed that going down yet. So. Well, like someone's having some fun over here. Trying to go this way? Yeah, there's a hidden thing. Threw my backpack, backpack off not far from the post. Should pick it up as soon as possible before the commander transfers us to a new location. Looks like there's another friendly over here. Oh, I got a friend. Oh, Fox is over here. Fox is one of the first stalkers I met. Let's go help these guys out. Wait. Your friend, right? Yeah, well, they're neutral. What are you guys shooting at? Dogs. Sorry, dogs. Are we good? We're good? Let me reload. I'll put my gun away. Let me reload. I'll put my gun away. Worst box. Where's Fox, guys? I gotta talk to Fox. I miss him. I was wondering where Fox went because he was back at the starting area when the game started. And they said that he left. Let's do a little exploring here. Get in there. Some stuff in there. I don't know how to get in there, though. I can jump out on the roof or something. Right here. Aha! 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 <laughs> Check. So see that stash is empty because I haven't found whoever it belongs to yet. I haven't found their PDA. Um, so it hasn't spawned in yet. So 
it kind of discourages um, exploration, I think, a little bit. At least for trying to get loot. Um, but then you want to go back like we're doing right now and check the stashes afterwards. Uh, once you found them. But, oh. I don't want to like go out of my way. Oh, there's a little... I don't want to go out of my way. Like, I'm not going to run over to some other area that just because I found a stash. But if there's one nearby where I'm already doing a mission, I, I like to go and grab them like we're doing now. I got... Look, I called a truce. You guys are the ones attacking. Like Fox is over here. Come on, Fox. Now, I'm curious if they're, he's actually going to tell me why he left or if he's just going to treat me like a stranger. Sorry, brother, but could you go somewhere else? I'm here to meet someone. Just leave you alone then, man. Dang. Feels bad. Alright. Um, we'll go grab this one. This one. And then head back to grab our stuff. And then we'll go on to the next mission. Am I going the right way? Yeah, it's right up here. Alright, what's this one say? Oh yeah, I threw my backpack off. As soon as possible. It doesn't really say where it is, so there's just a... I know that I'm looking for a backpack. A lot of dogs. Come on, guys. I called a truce. I killed the head dog. I'm the alpha dog now. Ruff, ruff. Backy, backy. Get away. Anomaly and some radiation here. And some dogs. Oh, a lot of radiation. Oh, no. Oh, you're dead. I didn't shoot you. Hmm. I'm gonna find the backpack in this mess. Pretty sure maybe I'm pretty sure I have been over here. Yeah, I've gone out this exit. It was just pitch black out the last time I did it, so I don't really recognize it. But I, I think I died to this truck doing what I just did. Yeah, yeah, I bet you're all talk. Bet you're all talk. Mm-hmm. come at me when I'm turned around. I'll have to kill you if that's the way it's going to be. You know what? I'm not even scared. I'm going to eat some sausage. I'm curious what the range of this is. Bad. You actually gonna attack me this time?
pretty good. I think the saga is better, but I kind of already knew that before I started using this one. All right, where's this backpack? We gotta find it. Oh. We get. Was that the ammo I need? No. Nine by thirty-nine. Oh, this is for the Groza, though, and the AS Val. So my end goal is to find an AS Val or a VSS. Because uh, those, uh, I like them in Tarkov and PUBG as a VSS. But they, they come with a silencer and a scope. And uh, they're pretty cool guns. Yeah, the, the AS Val is like my favorite gun in Escape from Tarkov. So I'll be saving that ammo, and I'm glad we found it. I don't remember what the other thing I found was. Oh, a uh, weapon repair kit. Which, uh, weapon repair kits, I think, are one of the things that this mod added to the game. Stay back. Uh, which is pretty cool. Because, uh, your weapons deteriorate. That green bar there. And, um, I think in the vanilla game, there's no way to repair them, so you just kind of have to throw them out. If you find a gun that you really like, you only get to use it for a little bit. All right, so we'll run back home. And, uh, well, I mean, we've already sold everything, so I'll just pick my stuff up and check all of them my stuff up. Where am I? Oh wait, I gotta do this one. Ugh. Forgot about that one. That's why I like using a shotgun. Goodness. I need to get back over the other side of the train tracks, it looks like. Am I just trapped over here? I try to run through it. That the hole, I think that's the hole there. I'm sorry. Any your tail though? No tail. What? guy? What did I get through? Oh, I hit an anomaly. I really didn't do much damage, though. Where did I get across last time? Here? There it is. That's right, it had the dog. Poor dog was just showing me where to get through and I popped him in the head. Almost there. He said this is the one that's in under the bridge. Oh my gosh. For some reason, I thought that was the giant bowl. <laughs> Just the way that anomaly... And it lined up out of the corner of my eye. Um, oh, there's an artifact here, too. Should be, like, right here.
heard it. It's either on the other side or it's on top of it. Ow. I stood right in that. A lot of radiation here too, but it's not hurting me yet. Where is it? My sound. Oh, there it is. All right, I have to get on top of that bridge then, or on top of this train. Huh? Well, how am I meant to get up there? Ah, I see. Can I jump this? Nope. I don't see. Ugh. Oh, there's the stash at least. A droplet artifact. Oh, that's why. I didn't take that energy. Okay. So. Let me get away from this beeping. Okay, so this stash, it was the one in the attic, even though it says cellar. But I didn't take the energy drink out of it. That's why it's staying up. So you have to take the energy. That, that makes sense. I'm just a dumb dumb. Now, how do I get up there to grab my artifact? Maybe from the other side. I can jump up right here. Yeah. Oh, there's a gun up here. Bandage. Take the shotgun ammo. That's a pretty uh, lame shotgun. It's not worth much. I'm just gonna leave it. Actually, I'll grab it. I'll just sell it. It's not worth much though. Rifle because I think there's bandits near here. It'd be nice if there was like an inspect key to inspect your guns because some of these guns are pretty cool. I guess you could reload to inspect it a little bit. It'd be nice. Uh, there, there's probably mods that do that. Maybe I'll look around. I'm gonna find one. I'm afraid to add any mods uh, because I already have the Autumn Aurora mod and I've heard that mods don't play nice together. Hey, nice work, guys. Careful when you get past the bridge, got it? There are too many wandering dogs there. If you don't pay attention, they'll tear you apart in no time. Wow. My gun instantly jammed. So that's something that'll happen. I think that's what happened. <laughs> Holy cow, that was nuts. So that just kind of happens in this game. Just checking to see if they have any. Oh, he did. A little hoof, a boar's hoof. So I'll grab that and put it in my stash and check and see if people will need any. There's another one. So what'll happen is my gun, see how it's, it actually needs repaired. So it'll jam randomly and you have to reload it. Um, and that's what happened there. So I just had to pull my pistol. Luckily, these guys kicked some serious butt. The guy killed maybe two of them. Why are you empty? Did you also run into the freaks under the bridge? The bitches. They almost killed me just now. I had to give them almost all of my goods. And they're sitting around patrolling. Be it bandits, be it these troops on the checkpoints makes no difference. 
<laughs> so he's talking about the uh, the military checkpoint that, not the one that we just obliterated there's another one on the opposite end of the uh, area we'll go ahead and sell this shotgun now and go ahead and sell these why did they just move I use that weapon repair kit. Let's sell that. Get it out of my face. Внимание, выдаю шутку юмора. Допрашивает как-то погонник матерого столки Рюгу. Значит, вы признаете, что в нетрезвом виде пытались покинуть территорию зоны в районе 12 блокпоста и имели при себе запрещенные к выносу за ее пределы предметы. Ну, того запарило, третий час под конвоем сидеть. Он ему и говорит. Так ее признаю, командир. Все признаю. Вот те крест. Был бы трезвый, я some бы в жизни не вас right с хабаровым не попёрся. Sure. <laughs> а хорошо. А поновее ничего <laughs> нету? <laughs> вот всегда бы такая пруха была. All right, It let's get out of here before we get stormed again by a stampede of wild boars. I'm sorry. Gotta go that way. An anomaly. This will lead me. I know that there's a bandit, that bandit camp that we passed on our way over. We'll stay off the road. Actually, I wonder if I can see any of them. No. I guess nobody's home. Almost back. I'll say the first when I first started playing, um, when I was in this area, I was like, like this. But now that I've been, you know, at the time also. I didn't have very good loot, and uh, I was actually dying a lot to these guys because all I had was a pistol, and um, they had assault rifles. What's that guy doing? Is this bandit v band bandit or do I got a loner that just ran in there on his own? I gotta help that loner if they're all bandits, I don't really care. I guess I could clear them out. Did they just They killed him. That might have been a loner. I didn't get a, a beat on him before he went out of the area to tell if he was neutral or enemy. But obviously if he was attacking bandits, then he's a friend. I gotta I gotta pay that forward. How's that? How's that for grenade placement? Yeah, Vladim one-eyed. No, that was a bandit. I want to find the guy that... I think it was this guy. Yeah, see, he was a loner. I was right. 
Oh, we'll grab their ammo. I'll go ahead and grab that pistol. We'll grab what we can. These bisons. Uh, this one right here. Uh, are worth a lot. They're worth 2,500 rubles. Now, I won't get that much for them. Obviously, I only get like a fifth of what they're what this number is from the trader but still compared to like this is 1800 even this is only 3000 and this is like a really good gun the a94 the spaz the spaz is a really rare shotgun like this is the first one that i've come across it's worth 35 so the bisons are really common at least maybe the mod maybe it's because of the mod i don't know but they're really common so they, they i always pick those up over anything else because i'm just going to sell them so and they use the same uh actually i, I think they use nine by 18 which is great really good guns and the bisons all all have the the barrel magazine so they can hold a lot of bullets before you have to reload all right. Well, I feel pretty good about that grenade. I'm not going to lie. That was that was pretty... I feel like a pro gamer there. Let's get home. Go we'll tell all our friends what we did. back and then we're gonna leave probably um well i'm probably gonna head to bed for the night but next time i play we'll probably head to our next main mission here which is going all the way back to the bar and uh maybe grab these stashes on the way Probably grab some of these. Some of these I remember were here when I was there last time, but the radiation was too high for me. So. Probably do that. Probably quickly grab the stashes. Hello, friends. Dude. What's your name? Are you, uh... No, not you. What's your name? What was your name? Loner. Clumsy. Clumsy. Clumsy, dude. Two guys. You're a loner. You probably know the guy. He just was walking up. He's like this. He's like this. He's like this. Clumsy. He was just walking up like that. And then he was... And then he died, man. He's dead. So I avenged him. I ran up and I chucked a nade. I chucked a nade into a little hole, and I killed two guys, uh, two bandits. The, the ones that killed, uh, I forget his name, the other loner dude. Alright, see you, dude. Good luck with everything. Playing guitar? I'm gonna end it here guys thanks for watching see you next time